Listen, I think that going after a 10 year old is completely unacceptable. Going at boycotting a school, it's a great school, completely unacceptable. Having a discussion about the Eric Trump Foundation or Ivanka and her clothing line, and these are adult children. I mean, Ivanka tweeted today a picture of her sitting between her father and Justin Trudeau talking about what they discussed in terms of advancing women. So, she is an advisor to the administration. That's not the same thing as just being you a child. I that wasn't a social moment. Is it? Yes, we She's do know why figure. was she in the first meeting with Prime Minister Abe? And also, Tommy, I just want to raise the point. In October of last year, you actually tweeted, compare the Clintons, compare Chelsea Clinton to the Trump kids. Right. This isn't about looks. Hashtag debate. What did you mean by that? Why are we talking about the kids? Why were you talking about the kids yourself? And for, for the record, if you want to discuss Ivanka, this is all open for discussion. We're talking about right. the fact that if, if someone, for, if, if Hillary would have won and Chelsea was sitting in the middle between two world leaders, you guys would have applauded her all night long. She would have been the poster child of the feminist movement. I but was, if Ivanka is sitting there, all I, of a sudden it's an appropriate. I'm asking you about your tweet. I, and I'm not saying if Chelsea was doing that, listen, I wanted her to step down she from the Clinton it. Foundation. Explained, wait, she explained it. Not about looks, about politics. But, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm just sure yeah. like, uh, Ivanka, you were talking about when I said compare the two, yes, Ivanka has done great things and what, and Chelsea, for women. What? I'm talking about the way that the media covers the two is night and day, where people applauded Chelsea really, what Clinton. did you guys do to the Clinton Foundation? Compared to their Trump Foundation, $880,000 went corrupt. to the Trump Resort. Excuse me. What about the $77,000 cup of coffee? All right, we're getting off base. I want, I want to stop here for a second. If I went after the Obama kids, mm -hmm. I probably would have groups of people wanting me fired. Wait a minute. Sean, if you go after Beyonce, you'll have groups of people wanting you fired. Let's be What's honest. your problem Let's with be Beyonce? Fair. What I'm saying is the loving left that have found these celebrities, they are so protective of certain celebrities, but then others, they go for the jugular. So you see that this is not about... This is, I think this is the point. I thought you guys on the left were supposed to be tolerant. I, I thought you guys were supposed to be inclusive. I am super tolerant and inclusive. Okay, I said but why, no then, children then in, at all. Okay, but, but it's still are, happening. It is it's still happening. happening. Absolutely, and, and it, it wouldn't have happened to the Obama kids. And it if did. it did, remember when one the time, one assistant was fired and got for fired. It? What one happened person. to Chelsea Clinton in the 90s? You remember that? was horrific how they treated her. I don't remember that. I never Bush talked girls, about kids. I think were treated very fairly. I don't remember no. much uh, issues there. Huge double standard. And here's my message to everybody. Leave the children alone. You know, I don't know how Jessica can sit there and defend the fact um, on the point that Tony was trying to make. The left, the media treats the left children and family so differently than how the right is treated. And she's right. Ivanka was sitting there with Trump and um, the president of Canada and Everyone, so, such negative coverage about that. But if she were to put, if they were to put um, Chelsea there, that would have been a glorious um, following of um, information supporting, look at Chelsea supporting, you know, um, women's power. And I mean, it's so obvious. Like, I just, I don't understand how, because it's so obvious that the left feel that they have an argument saying that it's not true. Like that just, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, Tony was exactly right that the children on the right are treated so differently in the media than the left. And then of course, um, Jessica has to pull in a tweet that Tony did uh, to try to get a little off, off subject. And the tweet saying how um, uh, it's not about looks. Let's you know stick to politics when it comes to Chelsea, um, Chelsea and her looks. Um, so J Jessica took that as an as attack. But if you really read the tweet, Tony's saying, "Look, it's not about looks. So stop attacking personal about Chelsea's looks and let's stay with politics." That's really what the tweet meant, but Jessica was trying to throw it into the conversation as that she was attacking Chelsea's looks, which was not true.